Hi guys, so I'm going to do a collective Dollar Tree haul, a few things from Marshalls and one thing from Walmart. Um, I'm filming over a Dollar Tree bag just because I'm in really bad lighting right now, so this is just going to help, hopefully help the color a little bit. So, Dollar Tree, we'll go with that first because that's more important. Uh, this is over two shopping trips over like a month. So the first trip, um... I mainly got beauty supply stuff and then a few other stuff. But the things that are not beauty related, I got this Splenda cookbook. I got two of these. One that one is downstairs. Um, that is mine. And I got this one for my aunt because it's her birthday next month. I thought this would be a cute gift for her, a good gift for her. Um, I actually made two things out of the book: the cucumber onion salad. It's pretty good. And then I also made the BLT, but I didn't use tomatoes. I don't like tomatoes, so I used peppers, and it was actually really good. Next, I got a pack of these erasers, because my brother needed erasers for school, and I need some running low. And they're just little pet ones, so there are different animals. There's a monkey-looking thing. I don't know what that creature is. I think there's an elephant in here. Oh, there's a frog. Oh, I know the elephant one went. I used the elephant one. Next, I got a pack of these clip click pens. These are actually really nice pens. Um, I love them. I bought a pack for my brother last year because he needed pens. And then I'm like, we purchased them. Next, I got this little journal. And then I the back. There's a stick in my purse. Final non-beauty item. I got these blank note cards. Because I have a whole bunch of birthdays this month. Instead of buying individual birthday cards. I bought a pack so I can just give them out to people. Next onto the beauty stuff. The first two things I got are hair ties. And they are these elastic ones. The. This. They have the elastic ones with the knot. And normally they sell like four or five for like three dollars at Walmart. Six for a dollar. So I got the black one and the pastel one. They also had, I think, the brown one. But I don't know, positive. Next, I got oh five eyeshadow palettes. I went a little crazy. I got three from LA Colors, and this one is in Parfait. The next one is in Splash. And the last one is the uh, iris. They are all very pigmented. I do love them. The next two are by Profusion Color Me Vintage Palettes. I have been on the hunt for 07. I think it's like the neonish one. I have not been able to find it anywhere. But I only found these two. I, there was actually a third one, but the third one was broken. That was the only one left, so it's kind of sad. So this is the first one is in 06, and it's just um, all matte colors. And the next one is 02, which is all the shimmering metallics. Of course, I've never seen eyeshadows like that before. I love it. Next, I got a monkey nail brush because I needed a new one. Because by the way, it's getting kind of old. Look at the cuteness. Next, I saw 3140 Baby Girl. I believe that's her name. Yeah. She hauled these in one of her Dollar Tree hauls. They are the um, nail art stickers. I got two of each pack because once you see something at the Dollar Tree, pick it up. Because you don't know if it's going to be there the next time you go back. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'll get two of each. So I got two of each. I got the butterfly one, the flowers. The geometric one. I did use them. And then the mustache one. I would say they're okay. I feel like they did not last. Really long, try to figure they're just stickers, but uh, I have to do my nails the next day. Okay, now going into my second Dollar Tree trip uh, that I just went to it was a few days ago. I went there on Wednesday, I believe it was. The first thing I got is for my school, I'll be a senior in high school, which is ha, ah, so exciting. Uh, we have to do summer reading. They just changed the summer reading now, so you can read whatever book you want. So, I, I got this book. 
I may or may not read it, but it's by Julian Lee. It is her mother's daughter, and just says Queen Mary Tudor, also known as Bloody Mary. And dystopian novels and royal history just is more interesting to me than anything else. Like, I don't know, I find it more interesting. Like, I've taken American history every single year, and then when I got to the sophomore year, I took world history. I learned so much more in world history than I've ever learned in American history. Because American history is the same thing over and over again. Just keep going into more details of, like, I get it. It's good to know your own history, but still, I like royal history. That's, that's my kind of history. Next, I saw that they had Animal Planet and Cake Boss products uh, stationary. I got three things. One I don't have with me because that's in my purse. But it's a Cake Boss clipboard. It's blue polka dot and it has a pad of paper. Next thing from Cake Boss are these sticky note pads. Perfect for school, so go check out your daughter now. And these are great for sticking in books or agendas or anything. So, my kitchen rules. Um, eat more cake. And, yeah. The next thing is it's the same exact thing, but it's just different. It's an animal planet. I was like, one or the other. I'll get both. So, this is a cat, a bunny, and a doggy. And, again, the three little sticky pads. Next, we'll go into food. So I got three-ish food items. The first two things are these Weilers, Rylers Light Singles to Go. This is in Cool Raspberry. Uh, it's okay. I wouldn't say it's the best. And the next one I got is Icy with Lemonade. I haven't tried this one yet, but I'll probably try it after I finish the other box. Then I got a pack of these Pampa mini teddies. There's chocolate chip and honey. This is just for taking with me to work or just stuff in my purse. Last food related item is I got this container. Um, they had, there's three different uh, sections and it's great for like portion control or anything like that. Um, so this is just something cute to carry my lunch in for work instead of carrying like five different containers. So I think maybe you could stick like a small sandwich over here, cheese and crackers, grapes, whatever. I don't know exactly what I'm going to put in it yet, but I'll figure out what I'm going to put in They all have my cucumber salad in there. That looks pretty good. Next, I got a new toothbrush. This is by the close-up one. It's like purple with like this shimmery teal. I'm just getting over a very bad cold. I had, it was very congested. Um, I, I lost my voice. I had a call out of work. It was so bad. It's finally coming back, like my voice is back, but I'm still coughing, I'm still on inhaler, my doctor put me on that. It was a hot mess. I got a new toothbrush. So when I'm like fully over this cold, I can switch my toothbrush. Next, into beauty. Okay. So every time I go into my Dollar Tree, I go straight to the beauty aisle. So you never know what could be there. They had some new things. I was happy. So happy. They, my Dollar Tree finally got in these LA Colors nail art wheels. This is in the style of flowers. This is the only one they had. There are, I believe, one, two, three, six different color pearls. And then the rest are all teardrops. Yeah. And it comes with an orange wood stick and a top coat. So, a dollar is not bad. Also, speaking with nail art gems, I got the sassy and chic one. Because I'm like, never saw that before. Why not? Then, I... I've been seeing this a lot on Instagram. On hashtag Dollar Tree, people have been finding the uh, cotton swabs with the Minnie and Mickey mouse containers. I finally found them. I got two. I got this one, which is like the old cartoon comic one in black and white. And the second one I got is actually in my purse. That is the uh, like black and white squares with just Mickey's face on it. Next, I got nail polish. LA Colors, I guess, released like new colors for this time of year. First I picked up three, then I picked up four, so I ended up with seven. I was not going to buy all seven, but I ended up buying them. So the first one is in Delicate, which is a beautiful light pink. The lighting is really bad, but it's gorgeous. Next pink is in Aloha. We have an orange in Orange Crush, which is actually right on there, part of my nail. The yellow, I got Lemon Zest. It actually has like a greenish shimmer to it. You can't really tell, but it's really pretty. 
Then we have Lime Life, which is actually really beautiful green. It's actually sponged on my nail, but you can't see it. This blue, which was the first one that caught my attention, is Beach Babe. And the last one is Bliss. This one, the light pink and the blue were actually in my hand. And then I grabbed the pink, other pink. And then the green, then yellow. Then I finally grabbed the orange. I was going to grab like a few more, but I had to refrain myself. The next thing I've been, I got is actually a perfume. I've never gotten a perfume from the Dollar Tree before. But I wanted to try it because I noticed, I think it's, Mo Diva? I forget, I forget her name. But she is hilarious. She had the uh, a caution, but I think it was imitation Britney Spears perfume. And she said it smelled like high school. I saw it, smelled it. I don't know, like the smell. But then I noticed they had the Impression of Someday by Justin Bieber. I do like this scent. It's actually really nice. I wanted the actual bottle, but I'm like, I don't know, wait. I found this, I'm like, ah. Oh save some money so that was all from Dollar Tree now I'm just going to get into two things from Marshalls I actually got this huge thing of lotion it's in strawberry cheesecake by I guess it's Hemp's brand they had this one an orange cupcake I think it was and a lemon pound cake next I saw if I had check out I got this chocolate macaroon coffee I've had two cups so far it's okay it's not that strong. It's not, it has some flavor, but not as much. But it's still pretty good. Next, from Walmart. All the same day. Oh, excuse me. I got the uh, Rival Coffee Maker. It was $9. Uh, we actually have like a regular coffee maker, but my family drinks regular coffee. And I don't like regular coffee, so I got a little baby one just for my flavored coffee. I drink a cup a day. Okay, just so it can wake me up in the morning. And yeah, it's so cute. And I figured it out. And it's actually a lot of fun to play with. It makes like the perfect amount for me. So that's my haul, guys. I hope you enjoy this collective haul. It's kind of long, but you know, I love sharing things with you guys. So you never know. Something I share might inspire you to get something. I don't know. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye, guys.